third quarter of the game of the week on CUDA.com presented by Royal Farms. Third quarter brought to you by Fellowship of Christian Athletes Lacrosse. FCA Lacrosse is committed to developing three-dimensional athletes and coaches who want to fulfill their God-given potential mentally, physically, and spiritually. For more, for more information on FCA summer teams, camps, or other ways to get involved, check out FCALax.com. And as always, make Royal Farms your first stop before and after every game for everything from custom-built subs and wraps, healthy snacks, drinks, fresh-brewed coffee and hot chocolate, Western fries, and of course, Royal Farms' delicious, world-famous, fresh, never-frozen chicken. Royal Farms, real fresh, real fast. FCA lacrosse, so many of the MIAAA conference schools have what FCA calls a huddle, where kids come in before school and meet together just to kind of regroup and centralize their focus. And as they say, fulfill their God-given potential mentally, physically, and spiritually. FCALax.com to learn more. McDonough defenseman Jeff Davis gets it over to Doyle. And now it's Alex Hurdle, rough rider defenseman. Hurdle, low lefty shot goal. Making the rough riders proud. Alex Hurdle stings one hard and low. Well disciplined shot. He's gotta be learning something with those rough riders. Learning from the best, book. Learning from the best. Nice goal there to get the Eagles energized coming into the second half. Third quarter from McDonough Stadium. McDonough in their home, whites, Spalding Road, blacks, Booker Corrigan, and inside lacrosse writer Ty Zanders bringing you the call. Thrilled to have Royal Farms as our title sponsor this year. Find a Royal Farms near you and get there. Make it your Royal Farms. McGee now behind the cage, gets the pick from Frederick, turns around righty. Now guarded by a short stick, McGee's gonna have an opportunity here as McDonough balances out their first midfield unit. Defensively, Connor Shoup, the short stick D midi. Coach Bear Davis doing a great job with these Spalding Cavaliers. McGee drives righty, turns back lefty, and continues to possess swim move inside shot just wide. Backed up by Glazer, no lack of effort. Tyler Shepherds doing the work along with Christopher Hamilton. Vallis, hard right-hander, goes just wide. 10.26 to go, third quarter. Third quarter brought to you by Fellowship of Christian Athletes Lacrosse, FCA Lacrosse is committed to developing three-dimensional athletes and coaches who want to fulfill their God-given potential mentally, physically, and spiritually. For more information, check out fcalax.com. They have summer teams, camps, and other opportunities for you to get involved. That's why you go to fcalax.com. Flag down on the trip. McDonough possession, Austin Frederick, Comes out righty, looks to feed, shot, ball, pinballs around. And finally in the stick of Talbot. This man up brought to you by The Power Shaft, the world's only weighted lacrosse training device. The shaft goes right into your lacrosse head. Check out thepowershaft.com to learn more. Ty, what do you expect from Spalding here in the second half? Well, no, they're hoping to get some more possessions. They don't have, haven't had many settled offensive possessions enough to uh, really get in the scoreboard much, and obviously that's a key. So many pre-whistle violations, most of them going against Spalding. McDonough man up again, 3-3. Vallis top center, Skyway, he gets it back to Robbie Black.
He pumps it down the wing to Clark. Now a roll off to Glazer. Penalty has expired. Spalding still sliding in to their six on six defense. Seven to one, your score, 9-11 left third quarter. Little gravity check there on the pass to the side. Makes it to the sideline, it'll be Spalding possession. along with Connor Young and Dewey Semp. Spalding looking to clear. They've been caught being a little too patient with some clears earlier, but goal scorer Richard Gableman has it top center. Gableman rolls back lefty. Looking to get that inside feed. But credit the defense of Matt Shinsky. Number one, short stick D midi, Matt Shinsky. Star on the soccer field, role player on the lacrosse field. I believe he'll go on our He's going to Columbia University for uh, soccer. Head out to NYC. Always nice to have those athletes play that D midi role. Stop and go move here on the left side. Turns the corner, shot over the cage. Backed up well by Michael Cooper. And Cooper getting worked over by Hurdle. Ball checked out of bounds. It's going to be McDonough possession. Alex Hurdle doing a nice job showing why he's a Notre Dame commit. Great position defense. Good hard slap checks. McDonough goaltender Nick Doyle walking it up. Hurdle quickly to Austin Frederick. Jackson Fleming, ball out of bounds. Unfortunate turn of events there as Dewey, Senth, and Fleming failed to connect, but they will have an opportunity to ride. 7-10 left, third quarter. Big hit on the near side. Ball goes down to the turf, and a detwagging. And Maddie Greenfield comes up with it for the Cavaliers. Spalding looking to push it down, Connor Shoup with a head of steam, splits right to left, shot just wide. And that's gonna be backed up by the Screaming Eagles. Motive Pure Hydration Formula is the best way to stay hydrated. Make sure you check out MotivePure.com to learn about the best hydration product that there is. You just mix it with water. Motive Pure Hydration Formula keeps you hydrated and keeps you playing your best when your team needs you the most, just like Austin Frederick just did. Comes down, baits the defenseman to go over his head, pulls it from right to left. Five hole goal, eight to one now, Eagles. Weird to think that Frederick's one of the more experienced players in the Eagles. Justin Jr. coming to Villanova. That's how young they are this year. Off logo. See if we can get an actual face-off here. It's interesting. They changed those rules to try and make it more face-offs, but by putting in rules, you actually give the kids more opportunities to break them. Great point, Booker. Thank you. Jackson Fleming, number 14, spins it behind the cage to Dewey Semp. Semp gets it over to Connor Young. And now McDonough running a lot of guys through the midfield. 
Justin Whitfelt in along with Andrew White. Whitey all the way top center is going to have a run here from the top side. Andrew White splits, rolls back righty. Moves it along the outside and McDonough's going to possess. Justin Wetfelt. And now it's Semp. Whitfelt now driving lefty. Gets it down the wing to Fleming. Loose ball corralled by Young. Young comes out lefty, gets it up top to Whitey. Shot by Semp, high in the air, flag flies. And Talbot makes the save on the bouncing ball. 5.05 to go third quarter. This man up brought to you by The Power Shaft. Make sure you check out thepowershaft.com to get your hands on the world's only weighted lacrosse training device. The only one of its kind. It goes right into your standard lacrosse head. It's a great invention, great product. One minute foul against Spalding. Glazer top center gets it to Vallis. Vallis down the wing to McGee over to Frederick. Black gets it up top to Glazer and gets it to Vallis. McDonough spinning the ball with tremendous rapidity at this moment. Top side Glazer, sky whammy, gets it back to Black. Left side Frederick. Robbie Black exchanges with Glazer up top down to Vallis. McGee steps top side, gets it over to Vallis. Vallis hard low shot saved by Talbot. Talbot corrals the loose ball. Spalding now looks to clear 25 remaining on the penalty. Talbot finds the open man, gets it on the far side. Frederick riding tenaciously. I think overall, Spalding's doing a very good job clearing. Goalies playing pretty good, don't you think? Yeah, they play a clean game. Yep. And relatively efficient, but unable to capitalize. Yeah, offense just needs to stop turning it over. Got to correct the McDonough defense for uh, forcing them clearing sufficiently, but uh, still not taking smart offensive possessions. Credit Daniel Barber with the clear for Spalding. Robert Jones now possesses near side and lobs it all the way across to the goal scorer, Richard Gableman. Gableman working hard against the defender, Evan Frederick. Yes, brother of Austin Frederick. Great parents, Mike and Jersey, Frederick. Good people. Jones gets it back up to Gable and Gable and nifty inside play. No dice on the feed. Ball goes to the ground, corralled in the backside by Jones. Crawling towards the three minute mark here, third quarter. Gableman comes off the pick on the near side by Hart Hirschman. And now Connor Rhodes going to have a run. Road behind the cage comes out lefty. Connor Rhodes slid to by Evan Frederick. And the fuzz turns back road. Jones looking to get off a shot, save Doyle. You bounce that, you score. And McDonough, definitely off sides right now. I know what it looks like yep. when I see seven guys in white jerseys down playing on one end. I hope you catch that <laughs> call, ref. My man, Carmen Dijon Domenico. <laughs> Carmen never misses la that one, ever. Never. Never misses a game in general. No, he doesn't. Doesn't miss a whole lot. Always on time. That's some high quality H2O. And if you need high quality H2O, mix it with Motive Pure because Motive Pure is the best product of its kind. Get to MotivePure.com to learn how you can play your best when your team needs you the most. 
And it's also a tremendous recovery product if you may have had a rough night. Motive Pure will put you back on your feet. I'm not kidding. I, I know that is a fact that Motive Pure puts you right back on your feet if you maybe got over your skis a little bit the night before. Check out MotivePure.com. Make sure you're back on your feet in time for Game 7. NHL playoffs going on. Nothing more exciting than a good Game 7. Callis drives behind. Crazy Ivan at X comes out lefty. Obviously, top side of the hour comes out the fourth side. Spalding detwagging and corralling it. Swept to by Danny Sweeney. Sweeney is a looming presence in the middle of the field. Number seven for McDonough. Always important to have that game changing LSM and Sweeney just that. Of course, picking up where guys like Joe Muir and Kyle DeVinney left off. I was just about to mention my man Joe Muir. Sam Ford, another guy who just loomed there in the middle of the field. I think that was a tradition that was started by Vinny Ciarpella, class of 99. 99, you just missed it. 22 seconds left, and here we get a great look at Danny Sweeney. As Spalding moves it effectively, Michael Cooper trying to drive. Automatic stall warning as the ball went onto the defensive half. That will bring about the whistle, and with eight seconds left in the third quarter, third quarter brought to you by Fellowship of Christian Athletes Lacrosse. FCA Lacrosse is committed. Loose ball goes onto the gate and picking up where I left off, FCA Lacrosse is committed to developing three-dimensional athletes and coaches who want to fulfill their God-given potential mentally, physically, and spiritually. For more information on FCA summer teams, camps, or other ways to get involved, check out fcalax.com. Also, Reminding you, make Royal Farms your first stop before and after every game for everything from custom-built subs and wraps, healthy snacks, drinks, fresh fruit, coffee, western fries, and of course, Royal Farms delicious, world famous, fresh, never frozen, chicken. Royal Farms, real fresh, real fast. 